Okay, Peter just asked, and this is this is a this is a common problem because I'm showing you what the advanced levels. This is the third in the volume of our mini camp 1997, by the way. Uh, Peter just asked because I've just demonstrated the three levels: uh, soft fudging, hard fudging, and soft advanced soft fudging. And Peter said, "Well, you know, when I'm doing the Taji form, it feels great when I'm doing it, basically at its soft fudging level. And it does feel really nice doing it at its soft fudging." soft fudging level. When he goes into the hard fudging, it's okay, but it's not as nice as doing the other one. And, and for, the, for the reason, well also there's another reason for this as well. One reason can be that you're simply not ready to do it at that level yet, you see. Another reason can simply be that there are certain times of the day, certain atmospheric conditions, certain feelings, when you just don't want to do it at its hard fudging level. Um, see, if you, if you, and also, if you're doing hard fudging incorrectly to begin with, then you will be wasting energy. And wasting energy is not a nice feeling. You, we don't like to waste energy, you see? And, it, and so when you start to, if you start to do something, you think, oh God, that means you're wasting energy. So I, I, I would desist from doing it at that level because you'll be wasting energy. You won't feel good doing it. No. But what I find happens is the odd move will happen like that. So yeah. The well, that's right. Well, well, yeah. Well, that's what happens. That's what that, that's what happens. And I always tell people, this is the move. <coughs> that's the move that will happen on your hard fudging to start with. Yeah. And, and you'll find that just the odd move throughout the form as you're doing it will start in with the hard fudging, and and then you'll be able to get more and more. I don't. I probably don't do the whole form in hard fudging myself. Uh, I probably do it at the advanced soft fudging, some of it, and in particular at the soft fudging level. I particularly like doing it at that level. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's God. We got the paparazzi here today. I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, experimented and done. That, that obviously you do it, you just experiment and mess around, you know. And doing the hard fudging after about five or six movements. Yeah, well that that's the reason. That's you shouldn't feel like that because you, you should feel energized. Um, when we're doing it, and in fact, it should build up as well. So, as I just explained to you, then when I first start, you know, I, I've never been able to. I don't know anyone else who can either. The odd time I've got after this move, and then I felt like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay now because I've done it. I've built up to it this morning, see, so I can go straight in. But I usually don't get the hard fudging until maybe here. This is a nice move to do the hard fudging, so I usually get it. <laughs> And then I'm off <coughs> and doing the far din <coughs> and so on. And uh, but yeah, if it feels like uh, after the first few movements, then you shouldn't do it because you're wasting energy. So it sh you should just let it come as it comes through. Doing the soft far din as well. Um, it's this. See, it's e as I said before, it's easy to do. Sorry, it's easy to do soft. Well, relatively easy to do soft far A little harder to do hard far because you can get it do it incorrectly, because it's easy to do incorrectly. And with the advanced soft fudging, again, it's easy to do it incorrectly. So it's, it's, you should really wait until that, that thing really happens with soft fudging. You know, you, it's like this, it's like, it's like hard fudging. So if I do a hard fudging movement, as I did then, like, <laughs> it's a hard fudging movement. And it's easy to do hard fudging incorrectly because you can you can just get some person going <coughs> like this. Well, that's incorrect because all the energy is blocked. I just did it purely physically. I'm tense when I did it. The fingers must buzz. That's the way. That's that's how you know. And you can see some doing it, and if the fingers don't <coughs> buzz like that, like we were doing yesterday in the chi disruption, bah, like that, or if someone just does like that, like our last sort of a karate move or something, that's incorrect. The, fing the fingers must buzz. So. Uh, now, in order to so hard fire jing, <laughs> there's a hard fire jing movement, and you notice also at the end of it the hands stretch as well. Remember that hand stretching thing that I got you to do in, in Ottawa, Ottawa? That was pretty amazing. Josephine was like this, and I said, "Hit this mitt," and she went. It was a long time. Yes, it <laughs> was. It was a long time, but it's a good analogy, and it's excellent. I like telling that story. And then I simply told her how to open the palms and use the bhagwa palm to bring the energy up. And she hit this mitt and she almost, was it me holding it? Yeah, I think it was. She almost knocked my hand off with it. So it was a very good lesson that in holding the bhagwa palm. Simply doing that, doing with the eyes, is a way to bring the energy up. Doing that 
from straight from Bagua, all the, all, also the chi disruptive ca- forms of katas, where from whence Bagua comes, doing that brings the energy up. You get, as soon as you do it, you feel this in the back of your head. You you feel it coming up straight away. So you notice at the end of any hard fire jing, there's always see, you catch that. that when 